What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. This is a live base build, Town Hall 12. Gonna be trying to build a Town Hall 12 base just from scratch. Don't have anything uh, screenshotted or anything I'm looking at right now. Just going to try to build a completely new base in about 10 to 15 minutes. Done one for Town Hall 10 recently, done one for Town Hall 11 recently. If you're interested in those Town Hall levels, you can go back uh, in my video feed and take a look at those pretty recent videos, last like month or two. Um, but this is Town Hall 12, a lot different. Lots of different types of bases. Some are more troll, some are more standard. Not gonna do anything too crazy. Um, I know with ESL and only having one hit in certain wars, people have been experimenting with different types of bases at Town Hall 12. Um, this one's gonna be a solid anti three star base but also somewhat anti two um, and we'll just kind of see how it goes this will give you guys a good idea of how to build bases at town hall 12 uh, the process and everything typically you start with a core I'm gonna start with the lack of a core um, because so many of these attacks are kind of mass dragon mass bowler Pekka lots of spam type attacks so you, you want to keep it a little bit empty in the core sometimes we're gonna have one of these skinny compartments with just the air sweeper in it always a good way to start it off um, and then I'm going to just make a uh, compartment over here with uh, our expo we'll put it like right uh, here and then we'll have like a wizard tower in this compartment as well as let's say the CC and um, let's do actually we're gonna move it one over anti e drags keep things spread out the two tiles between um, we're actually gonna. Have, I have an idea. Actually, we put a sweeper here, and we're gonna put the town hall down on the side. Town hall very isolated. Big thing, um, especially in ESL, of course. But just in general, keeping that town hall very separate from a lot of the rest of your buildings. Um, so we're gonna go like that. Then we're gonna kind of move everything uh, this way a little bit. Now the town hall is very separate, uh, which is perfect. Go around like that. Um, and then we'll just make it its own compartment here like so and then oops a little too big um, we'll just kind of fill things in later around the town hall but it's very isolated from everything else um, that's always important we're gonna put the eagle kind of off um, away from a lot of stuff as well something you want to look to do so we'll kind of keep the eagle isolated in like its own big compartment here. Um, I'll fill in some buildings right next to it in a moment. But there's that'll be the eagle's location. Um, sometimes I like to put a single inferno by the town hall. In this case, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's put a single by the... Actually, no. I'm going to keep with three multis just because of how popular bats have been. Uh, we'll do the three multis. Um, and we'll start to kind of decide where we want to put them. Um, I'm already thinking we'll want to put one out here, uh, like so, and then we'll have just kind of a small compartment like this around it, um, like that, and then this can kind of pop up here to protect it from queen and stuff like that, so it can't be sniped from the outside, um, keeping that distance from the queen. Very important stuff. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to put the CC on this side, and I'm not going to put anything over here. This is really to kind of bait Sui heroes. It makes it so the CC lures really easily if they come from like this area. So I'm going to kind of keep that how it is, make it a little bit tricky because you're coming in, you're being surrounded by all kinds of stuff, even though the Town Hall, Eagle, Inferno are all in that area. Um, up top here, let's throw down our next Inferno Tower, and what we can do... Uh, we have one more to put down, put the last one uh, over in this area. And for the last Inferno Tower, what I want to do is kind of surround it. This has been a popular thing lately, uh, surrounding it with walls like, the, actually I did that wrong. Um, like that. Just to prevent like a king or like any Valks or anything. anything something with range has to get it. That's why we have those walls there like that. And then we'll kind of fill in a compartment around it. As you guys can see, um, and this is just kind of personally my strategy, I like to fill in compartments. Put the big stuff down, fill in compartments around. Uh, worry about what buildings go where a little later. Just my style. Um, let's just kind of give some space to this one Inferno Tower here. 
Um, notice we have a four tile gap from these two compartments to where the inferno is so a queen can't reach it from any of these compartments. Little things are after a long time of base building it starts to become like second nature. You're just used to doing it. It's ingrained in your mind. Um, but let's fill in more compartments. Uh, we'll go like that. And um, we'll put one like so. That's okay. And then I guess what we can do is just kind of finish this down here. Alright, it's a little bit of a weird looking compartment there, but we'll manage. I'm actually, I kind of want to protect the eagle a little better, so why don't we actually go like this, move that wall there, and then rearrange things a little bit like that. This way the eagle is a little bit harder to be sniped um, from nearby. Move that like that. Okay, perfect. And then one more compartment. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Some extra walls. Uh, I'm thinking either in this area, down around uh, here or around here. Got some options. Um, I think we should uh, just go ahead and add some, add some bulk to the back end. So we'll throw in another compartment like, like right here. And then it's gonna have to stop and go in. Perfect, okay, so this is about the outline of our base. As you can see, the town hall, um, gonna have to actually steal a wall or two to make sure it's fully protected from the outside. I want this to extend in like that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to steal a few walls. Okay, that actually worked out. Um, Town hall is protected, it's isolated, and we got the CC can trip easily if someone tries to do a Sui Hero type thing on it. Um, CC is very sensitive in this area. I actually haven't placed the queen yet, and that's a little surprising to some people perhaps. I'm gonna just throw the queen behind the town hall. Um, this way she's well guarded by the CC, and um, once again, I probably have like a lava hound or and a baby dragon, otherwise like an ice golem and uh, witch, baby dragon type combo. Um, something to to kind of slow down it, uh, any type of Sui hero or maybe even a kill squad, especially if the queen's in the kill squad, uh, which would typically be the case at Town Hall 12. Um, anyway, that looks all very good. Um, we'll go ahead and put the king here. And this is a great place to have a Tesla farm like down in this area, I was to put a Tesla there as a placeholder. Um, reason being that it's very much, you know, kind of baiting the, the drawing troops in, but you have, it's tough to get to the Inferno, Town Hall's off to the side a little bit, and typically if people are gonna come in uh, on either this side or this side, they're gonna come over on the right side because the Eagle's there. So opposite the Eagle is typically a good place for a Tesla farm, generally speaking. Let's get some Expos down. Definitely gonna wanna have one around this area. A couple anti-queen walk expos, not not the best location for this base to put any, um, to be honest. Maybe we'll just put something there. Really, um, I guess giving value to a possible queen walk in that area, but at the same time, actually we'll put one over here like that. Um, kind of breaking some rules by having these so easily walkable, but um, I think it's justified in this case. Okay, so that all looks good. Um, wizard towers want to make sure they're nice and spread out around the base. Anti-bat spell is what we're looking at here mainly. So we'll put one there, put one there. Um, also not too close to multi-infernos so people can't freeze on top of them. Anything too crazy like that. Um, and I think we'll put the last one like... Um, put it like up here. Air defenses. I think one here. Definitely like having one by the town hall, especially if we can um, make it difficult to start a queen walker there or something, and also just kind of prevent any air troops from creating a funnel, because uh, it's very pushed up against the uh, space where you can drop your troops there. Um, sometimes it's okay to have wizard towers in range of air defenses. You can make it work. Um, we'll put the last one down here. Okay. Starting to shape up pretty nicely here. Um, anything need to change the moment? Nope, I think we're 
I think we're looking pretty good here. Um, at this point, start to um, make sure we have archer towers kind of guarding the perimeter of the base, preventing easy funnels and sniping of percentage for two star attacks or for high percentage attacks. Um, I'm actually not going to even put anything next to that inferno tower there. Uh, then we'll put an archer tower like over here. We'll see why in a moment. Um, put another one right there. The sweep was going to want to be pointed that way. And then, um, yeah, I'd probably put like one more archer tower like back in here, that area. That looks pretty good. Um, throw a bomb tower next to that inferno tower as well. It's typically a good thing to have there. Actually, just put it on the outside. And uh, put a bomb tower, hmm, call it up in here. That'll do. Okay. Um, keep filling in defenses. Not a whole lot of, you know, uh, don't have to be too methodical with this. Just filling stuff in. Um, we'll put a cannon. I want it to be guarded by the expo. Cannon up there. Cannon here. Notice a lot of defenses on the outside of the base. That's to keep things spread out, make pathing a little trickier. Um, cannon there, and we'll put a cannon there. Grand Warden, uh, almost forgot about him. I guess we'll just throw him right here. A little bit crowded in this area, which is totally fine. Some areas can be crowded on your base, but don't make every area too crowded. Otherwise, you're going to get wrecked by E-Drags, probably. Um, so we'll kind of have a spacer right here, and we'll just slide this Expo out. I think that'll be okay. Um, put that there, actually going to move things like that. A lot of this is anti-e-drag, keeping two tiles between uh, adjacent buildings as much as we can. And like I said, Tesla farm will go great in here, so what we'll do is we'll put like a storage there, um, and we'll just have our farm right like this. Um, we can go ahead and throw some buildings out like that. And the archer tower is guarding everything as well, which is good. Um, might even want to put like another storage, uh, like right here. Okay, uh, big thing. I'm not going to put too much trash down, but I want to put a few examples down. These buildings definitely need to have this two tile gap wall, then the space right uh, that's I'm leaving open there. Uh, anti e drag really got to have that big big things I'm a huge fan of anti e drag type setups um, we'll fill in traps as well gotta do mortars still just to mess up the pathings the main thing with mortars throw one there um, put one like out here that's uh, relatively well covered throw one over here and maybe put like a mortar out there as well Okay, everything looks pretty good here. Um, base is shaping up nicely. I, I think um, for traps, you know, you can just kind of use common sense for a lot of this. You know, we're going to have some giant bombs. Uh, we'll put one. Decisions, decisions. We'll put it touching the wizard tower there. Um, I'd say definitely going to want to have one there. Um, can't hurt to put... We want to have a, some on the outside. We'll put like one over here, maybe. Or we can move that cannon one tile and put it kind of behind the cannon. I like to keep it by defenses because I know hogs are you know, still something people use. But I also like having stuff um, a little bit more inside the base than, than maybe people are used to or comfortable with. Um, just because we see bowlers inside the base, we see different, uh, different troops inside the base now and witches sometimes even and I always think if only there was a giant bomb you know inside the base we don't see witches going along the outside as much anymore don't have to be as militant about keeping giant bombs on the outside um, so we are gonna have quite a few inside the base which is a little controversial perhaps but I'm gonna go with it in terms of the tornado trap um, uh, I want to put it by the town hall, but I almost feel like going to put it here by the Tesla farm. 
That way stuff gets stuck as these three Teslas can all shoot in on it, assuming things come from the inside and come through to it. Also, you know, keeping stuff in range of the Inferno if it's still up, the Town Hall if it's still up, you know, it, it's a great location, I think, for that tornado trap. Um, of course, just going to put spring traps mainly between buildings, a few on the outside, why not? Um, just in case there's stuff going along the outside. Can't hurt, but try to keep it between defenses at the same time. Um, definitely good locations back here to put some. And we'll, uh, we'll put one on the Eagle as well. How about that? All right, not too much going on there. Definitely want to have Seeking Air Mines protecting the Tesla farm. Um, so we will put one there. We will put... Um, it's mainly protecting against slammer healers on a queen walk um just weak areas and then when you have leftovers i recommend just uh putting them in the around in the core of your base where the warden's not likely to be used big mistake people make is putting them by like the town hall where the warden might be used or somewhere else where there's a, a big chance that the warden's ability will be used then everything will be protected over the Seeking Air Mine, so don't do that. Um, but we will keep some in the middle here, and we'll keep one right on the outside like that. Um, very good, very good. Red air bombs. Some of this is just getting lucky with them, to be honest, but we will keep a few in the core like that. Also, put one out here for that cannon. Can't hurt to have one in the farm area. And... Um, Put one out by this wizard tower, and uh, put, hmm, let's put two by the the farm, why not? Go big or go home. Always like putting uh, a ground skelly by the town hall. Uh, I like using an air skelly by the eagle, and for our last one, we'll just put a ground by this inferno, really pack the area. Small bombs, not a whole lot to them, but I guess we should think about wall breakers a little bit. And uh, perhaps people will try to be cheeky with wall breakers at certain points. I'm not going to think too much about them, just going to kind of throw them on the outside of the base. But when you're building you know, your own base, you're going to spend a little more time on it. And uh, you can get a little more serious with the, the details here. Okay, I had to edit out a quick part of the video just because I accidentally uh, closed a screen and had a technical difficulty, um, but literally nothing has happened since, so uh, no worries. Right where we left off, and it was pretty much the end of the, uh, the build anyway. Not gonna put down all this trash around the outside, but of course, you know, fill in this gap over here with something. And then one tip for putting buildings down, don't put stuff like that, especially around archer towers and defenses on the outside. Put them one more tile, anti-E drag. With the two tile gap, you won't get the chain damage from one building to the other. It's too, too far. So keep that in mind when you're putting stuff down. Uh, but besides that, thanks for watching. Hope this video helped, and I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.